Here's John Carmack. One of his, in my opinion, greatest creations was a little game called Doom. It is likely that the code for artificial general intelligence is going to be tens of thousands of lines of code, not millions of lines of code. This is code that one individual could write. What I said a couple years ago is a 50% chance that somewhere there will be signs of life of AGI in 2030. You see, he has this uncanny ability to create technology that is very literally ahead of its time. One of his, in my opinion, greatest creations was a little game called Doom. It was simulating 3D characters before we had graphic cards that could handle those sorts of graphics. It was years before others were able to catch up. They used a freemium model to get a lot of copies of the game out to people years or decades before that was common. They created a viral online marketing campaign before the game was released. And this was 1992. We didn't even have words like online viral marketing in 1992. And now that he's officially entering the AI space, big investors are pouring money into it. When the first AGI goes online, there's a good chance that this guy will be in the room. I'll explain why this is the guy I would bet on. But first, take a listen. To me personally, I think it's clear that if AGI were to be achieved, that would change the course of human history. So, AGI wise, I was making this decision about what do I want to focus on after VR. And I did come down to this decision between working on economical nuclear fission or artificial general intelligence. The artificial general intelligence side of things, it seems to me like this is the highest leverage moment for potentially a single individual, potentially in the history of the world, where the things that we know about the brain, about what we can do with artificial intelligence, that it is likely that the code for artificial general intelligence is going to be tens of thousands of lines of code, not millions of lines of code. This is code that conceivably one individual could write, unlike writing a new web browser or operating system. And based on the progress that AI has, machine learning has made in the recent decade, it's likely that the important things that we don't know are relatively simple. There's probably a handful of things, and my bet is that I think there's less than six key insights that need to be made. Each one of them can probably be written on the back of an envelope. We don't know what they are, but when they're put together in concert with GPUs at scale and the data that we all have access to, that we can make something that behaves like a human being or a living creature, and that can then be educated in whatever ways that we need to get to the point where we can have universal remote workers, where anything that somebody does mediated by a computer and doesn't require physical interaction that an AGI will be able to do. But there's things we don't know how to do now, but I don't think they are unapproachably hard. Now that's incredibly hubristic to say, but I think that what I said a couple years ago is a 50% chance that somewhere there will be signs of life of AGI in 2030. And I've probably increased that slightly. I may be at 55, 60% now, because I do think there's a little sense of acceleration there. You also written that I, I bet with hindsight, we will find that clear antecedents of all the critical remaining steps for AGI are already buried somewhere in the vast literature of today. So the ideas are already there. I think that's likely the case. One of the things that appeals to so many people, including me, about the promise of AGI is we know that we're only drinking from a straw, from the fire hose of all the information out there. You look at just in a very narrowly bounded field like machine learning, like you can't read all the papers that come out all the time. You can't go back and read all the clever things that people did in the 90s or earlier that people have forgotten about because they didn't pan out at the time when they were trying to do them with 12 neurons. And I think that we probably will, in hindsight, go back and see it's, yeah, that was clearly predicted by this early paper here. And this turns out that if you do this and take this result from, from animal training and this thing from neuroscience over here and put it together and set up this curriculum for them to learn in, you don't have too many people now that are still saying it's not possible or it's going to take hundreds of years. And 10 years ago, you would get you would collect, get a collection of experts and you would have a decent chunk on the margin that either say not possible or a couple hundred years, might be centuries. And the median estimate would be like 50, 70 years. 
And it's been coming down. And I know with me saying eight years for something, that still puts me on the optimistic side, but it's not crazy out in the fringes. There will always be people that just won't believe it. And I fundamentally don't care. I don't care if they don't believe it I when it starts doing people's jobs. And like, you I don't care it. about the philosophical zombie yes, argument a- at absolutely, all. Absolutely. You know, a lot of credit should go to Deep Mind for Alpha Zero. That was truly special. Through so self-play mechanisms, it sort of solve problems that used to be thought unsolvable, like the game of Go. Also, protein folding starting to get into that space where learning is doing, at first there's not, it wasn't end-to-end learning, and so now it's end-to-end learning of the of a very difficult, previously thought unsolvable problem of protein folding. We are going to chip away at all the things that people do that we can turn into narrow AI problems, and billions of, probably trillions of dollars of value are going to be created by that. It's a funny thing because as far as I can tell, Elon is completely serious about all of his concerns about AG mm-hmm. being an existential threat. And I tried to draw him out to talk about AI and he just didn't want to. And I think that I get that little fatalistic sense from him. And it's weird because his company could very well be the leading company yeah. leading towards a lot of that. 